Hey, welcome everybody to another video about chalk painting resale items. This is my absolute favorite thing to do in the evenings. Watch YouTube crafters and do my own crafting, usually with a cup of decaf latte sitting beside me. I don't have that here tonight, but I do have a, a video going. I hope you saw the video that I posted a week or so ago showing a thrift haul that I found at Goodwill because that's what these items are, um, that's what this video contains is items from that thrift haul that I'm painting today. So if you did not see that, I will post it at the end of this video as a pop-up and you can go back and watch that. But um, I think as I shared in that video, I, I really did like these gold uh, candle candlesticks, candle holders. Um, I like the look of them. They just have nice texture. And I could live with them, but um, I'm not going to keep them. I'm going to resell them. And I think things that are painted uh, a lighter color or or more neutral are doing better as far as what sells in my what sells in my space. On this piece, the only thing I'm changing on it is I'm just painting over the phrase that was on this um, cute little wall art. Um, I just thought if I could um, put a maybe stencil or stamp something on there and antique it a little bit, it would be a little bit more usable than the phrase that was on there. And this next piece is something that I really did like, and I was glad there were two of them. Um, you can see I'm really having a hard time getting the Goodwill sticker off of this when I decide to just finally uh, paint over it. But um, there were two of these, and they're really pretty long pieces. They're they're kind of, a, I guess, a riser, or you could use them as a tray, but I'm keeping one and then uh, selling one, but I'm going to paint both of them, and I, I will show you later in the video how I'm already using the other one uh, before it's painted, but um, you'll see. I think I ended up putting three coats on this piece uh, just to cover it. I'm just using an ivory-colored uh, chalk paint here. The YouTube channel that I'm watching in the background while I do this is um, Little Blessed Nest, and it's just a very sweet couple um, that has uh, the YouTube channel there, and she shows episodes of uh, daily, a day in her life, and trips to Goodwill and other um, thrifting hauls that she makes. Um, and usually while her husband is having his dialysis treatment, and uh, it's just a, it's just a, a good uh, channel I've enjoyed watching. She's done some fabulous, beautiful things in their little single wide mobile home, and she talks about how um, she gets by with no stove in the kitchen when they redid their house. That was her choice, was to not have that. And um, so anyway, it's a channel that I've enjoyed. I think you might enjoy. Her husband will occasionally play the piano and sing some gospel hymns, and he just does a really good job, and it's just really very sweet. This next piece will be quite the transformation. Uh, this is kind of a broken little uh, wooden rocking horse. It's it's cute, but it's missing the tail that's broken off, and uh, some of the paint is cracked, and uh, it's just really outdated, and just, it's cute, but not great, and so I'm gonna transform it into something a little bit more shabby chic, so I think you'll enjoy seeing how this uh, ends up. Thank you. 
And this is a new addition I just made to my workspace. I put this little shelf right above my work table um, so I, I can put some of my uh, painting supplies there. It took a little while for me to decide which stamps I want to use on this little uh, wooden bucket here that you see in the background. I wanted it to have a shabby chic look or a country French look, and I just had to look through some of the uh, stamps. I, I usually use IOD stamps, or I think these are Prima Redesign is what I finally decided on here. These are so easy to use. You just uh, use a stamp pad to ink them up, put them where you want the design to be, and that's really all there is to it. You just need to try and hold it in place and press your hands on it so it doesn't slide around. Um, but it's really a lot easier and a better result than, than stenciling. I'm going to dress up this little shabby chic horse with some cute fabric strips that I've either cut or torn from lace pieces of fabric or scraps of muslin. And I'll show you how I tie, I lay the strips out, kind of tie them together, look at what's gonna be a good length for both the tail and the mane on this horse. And then really it's just a matter of using a hot glue gun to glue the pieces onto the areas you want them to go. For the horse's mane, I'm just tying strips around another strip of fabric and I will lay that on top of where I want the mane to go and then I'll fluff up the pieces that I've tied on there. And I've been making these cute little hanging tags for a lot of the things that I'm selling in my space now. And I got this idea from Our Shabby Cottage. 
um, Lisa there makes a lot of these little tags for the things that she sells, and I do think it makes them look so much cuter. These are really simple to make. I'm using cardstock to cut out uh, shapes for these hanging tags, and then using stamps and ink to uh, decorate them, and then there is a little antiquing uh, stamp pad and tool that um, I will link below in my uh, description so you can uh, see where to find these on Amazon, but they're just really uh, simple to make and really dress up um, anything you're making. Next, I'm going to make some shabby bows for these chalk painted candle holders that I've refinished. And uh, you'll see it's a simple process. It's not really tying a bow. It's just looping the bows over with uh, several strips of lace or kind of shabby uh, fabric remnants. And I just tie the bow together and loop it around the candlestick and it makes a really cute little shabby chic look. Here's a shot of the uh, painted riser, and I put it uh, next to the unpainted one that I'm using in my kitchen, just for a comparison. And here's how it all looks, and I will have a pop-up at the end showing you the haul that led to these, uh, the remake of these items. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.